My father tells me how he remembers his mother making pastizzi early in the morning and then everyone used to go to the same bakery and they used to bake them for them and they would be ready for breakfast by the time the kids woke up. My name is Marie Lovella, a director and pastizzara at Pastizzi Gourmet. Hopefully, in a few years' time, I'll have my own little shop and then eventually my dream, which is a tea house. I started because I did not have a job and I thought, well, what can I do by myself that I can make some money from and that I actually enjoy doing? And I started selling pastizzi to my friends, really everyone at first thought it was a joke. Eventually word started to spread and after around eight, nine months I realized there was a lot of potential in it. So I decided to focus on it full time. The pastry looks different because the traditional pastizzi have a layer of lard between every layer of, of pastry, whereas I don't, I work everything together. And I also make a lot of different fillings. Traditional pastizzi only have ricotta and pea, and I make around 15 or 16 different fillings. There's ricotta, there's pea with anchovies and olives, there's lamb, and then there are the, the sweet ones. When I was a little girl, I used to bake them a lot with my grandmother and my auntie. She used to make pastizzi very often. She was a genius in the kitchen. I really wish that she was still alive now, just so I could show her what, what's happening with pastizzi gourmet. <laughs>